My name is Jia Wen Guo. My topic today is, have you seen a patient like me? A question leading to personalized cancer pain care. Because of my English accent, I get questions like, where are you from? Why did you come to US? So let me start with answering these two questions that lead me to work on personalized cancer pain care. Originally, I'm from Taiwan. To give you a big picture of Taiwan, the size of Taiwan is only one sixth of Utah, but the population is seven times more than Utah. The picture here is Tainan City, where I was born and grew up. It's also where the bubble tea, the most famous drink in Taiwan, <laughs> was invented. Before I came to US, I was a baseline nurse. When I was studying my nursing degree, I was first introduced to a computer. It was back to 1990, 1990s. The internet was new. I was amazed by how much computer can do for us especially searching information online instead of going to the uh, library to, to find the information. So I really want to have my own computer, but a computer was expensive. One computer, one computer was about one, uh, one semester of college tuition in Taiwan. So I, was, I, asked him, I asked myself a question. How can I get a computer within a limited budget? After I was doing for some research, do it yourself. DIY is the way to do it. <laughs> so I got some used part from my friend for free, and then bought the rest of an essential part. Uh, to put all the pieces together, I follow instruction very carefully to make sure all the parts and the wires are at the right place. That's how I had my first computer. I built it. <laughs> the pitch. <laughs> the picture here is not my original computer but it looked like 99% the same as mine. <laughs> in the whole process I learned, the right question leads us to find resource and the approach to get the outcome we want. After I got a nursing degree, I chose to work Gu Foundation Sun Yat-sen Cancer Center because the CEO who was a professor of medicine at Duke University. At a <coughs> advocates and implement patient-centered care model which matches to my philosophy of patient care. So I really enjoy working there. Being a cancer nurse for years in Taiwan, I noticed pain is most fearful and complaint symptom from patient. Cancer pain is complex. It can be caused by cancer, uh, cancer treatment and other factors such as personal experience. Therefore, the clinical guideline may not always work well for every patient. For example, opioid is one of effective options to treat severe cancer pain, and it does not have a ceiling effect, which means patients can have as many opioids as they need, as long as they can deal with the side effect. However, for some patients, some significant side effects come before the therapeutic effect. Have you seen a patient like me? I got this question often from, the, from patients whose pain was not relieved well by following the clinical guidelines. I was thinking it's possible to find other patients who are like this one if I go through all the patient medical records in the hospital. <laughs> but I have no idea where to start. One day I found an article online titled, Nursing Informatics, a new nursing specialty. Trust me, it really says that. <laughs> it says, Nursing Informatics, a new, a new nursing specialty. Combine nursing with computer and information science improve patient care by effectively using patient information. Three key words come my attention. Nursing, computer, and information. I'm a nurse who knows how to build and use computer. <laughs> Wants to know how to make information useful. So I want to learn nursing informatics, but I don't, uh, but I don't know where to start, and then there's no nursing informatics in Taiwan. That's why I came to US. I choose the University of Utah because it has the first and the best nursing informatics program in the whole US. I spent two years in the master program, another five or six years in the nursing PhD program. In 2013, I was hired as, uh, as a faculty and have an opportunity to continue working with great people here. One of those people is Dr. Kathy Sword. <laughs> she was my dissertation chair and now is my faculty mentor. Guess what? She was also the person who interviewed me when I was applying for master's program. Because of her encouragement and support, <laughs> and goodness, I'm at where I am. I did not forget why I came to US to study nursing informatics. 
Because of adoption of EHR, electronic health record in the US, more and more patient medical, medical records are now in the electronic format. So I came up with the research idea to use EHR data to study personalized cancer pain care to improve pain outcome and the patient's quality of life. This idea was funded last year from National Institute of Nursing Research. In research, we often, using, we often use model to explain a, phenomen, a, a phenomena. Based on these two models, pain experience is an uh, interaction outcome of many factors, including physical, psychological, social, spiritual, and the environmental. Each factor can be presented by several concepts. For example, social isolation and social support are concepts of social factor. It is important to include those concepts presenting each factor for developing personalized cancer pain care. Based, uh, using these two models as a guide, I identified about 100 concepts from cancer pain research article, and then check how those concepts are presented in the EHR. I have a good news and bad news. <laughs> good news is the majority of the concept can be found in, in the EHR, which means the EHR data is, is available for this research. The bad news is out of those identified or found the concept, 80% of them are free text data, such as the words phrase from clinician's note. This type of data is now ready for, data, for statistical data analysis. It is required additional time and studies to transform the free text data into coded data by using spatial approach, such as natural language processing. I am working on this right now. Once data are ready for data analysis, I will first identify different group of patients who share a similar, uh, similar profile of pain experience. And then I will identify effective option for pain relief for, indivi for individual group of patients. Have you seen a patient like me? I hope one day I can say yes and show the show patient the effective option for pain relief. And those options are based on other patients who are like a her, him, or them. Finally, I would like to thank my mentor and VPK program and my, my dear faculty and staff uh, colleague from nursing for support, supporting me to move this research idea forward. But also, there's a challenge to identify someone have a social isolation from the EHR data. Because there's no checkbox that says, you are social isolation, you are not. Because the reason, because um, um, the definition of social, isola uh, social isolation also kind of varies. So one part of work right now is to looking for different isolations, uh, looking for the definition of isolation and identify the attribute. Why, how to identify social isolation and basically, uh, there are two big group of social isolation. One is perceive, one is obje uh, one is objective. So perceive is uh, objective. Like, are you live by yourself? Yes. <laughs> then it's objective social isolated. But like me, I live by myself. I did not feel like I'm, I'm social isolated. So yeah. So there's different levels, and I'm working on find the definition for that. Thank you for your question. <laughs> I have an answer in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, any other questions? <laughs> okay, oh, thank, thank you, you very much. Good job.